more places are fighting back on the plastic pollution. As Kenneth Craig reports, New Jersey is now close to adopting the strictest plastic bag ban in the entire country. Plastic or paper is a question you won't hear at grocery stores in Hoboken, New Jersey. Would you like a brown bag or a reusable bag today? That's because single use plastic bags are banned here, and soon it could be that way for the entire state. Jeff Tittle is with the Sierra Club of New Jersey and supports a bill proposing the strictest plastics ban in the nation. It would outlaw non recyclable plastic shopping bags, plastic straws, and styrofoam food containers, which often litter roadways and shorelines. We're also seeing plastics here in New Jersey and in other states in our drinking water where we're finding in our major water supply rivers microplastics. Last year, more than 30 bills were introduced in nine states to reduce disposable plastics. Still, the United Nations Environmental Agency estimates each year nearly 9 million tons of plastic enter the world's oceans, killing countless animals like this black footed albatross. The real issue with these products, whether it's a plastic bag, a straw, is littering. Dennis Hart is with the Chemical Council of New Jersey, representing some of the world's biggest plastic manufacturers. It's littering issues. He argues that paper creates pollution beach, too seeing. and is less efficient. In the long term, it's more harm to the environment to offer a customer a cardboard food container than a polystyrene food container. Antonio Gray says he won't yeah, miss the plastic. It's about time that we have actually caught up to the rest of the, uh, of the world. And the rest of the world is watching this high stakes battle to see if the Garden State can set a new standard in the war on plastic. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Trenton, New Jersey.